On July 1st, Canada turns 150, which is young for a nation. Jerome McGinley turns 40 that day, which is old for a hockey player. But this sprawling land and fierce man have so much in common. Aginla is the image of Canada's most flattering self. Yeah, I didn't expect to be picked here. It was just an unbelievable feeling. Representing the best of Canadian hockey. Skill, toughness, and yes, the willingness to fight in a game that sees value in settling your own scores. Boy, these are two big guys are going to go. Ow! 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 If Ryan Smith were Captain Canada, then Aginla, a July 1 baby, is Mr. Canada. Getting to be part of it and help Canada to win the gold medal, that was, uh, was unbelievable. At the 2002 Olympics, Aginla did the second most Canadian thing in the world. In Salt Lake City, he was introduced to four fans from Calgary who had been sleeping in their car. He found and paid for rooms at the hotel where his family was staying. Then he did something for himself and for his nation scoring two goals in the final against Team USA as Canada broke a 50-year Olympic gold medal drought. Of course, in 2010 in Vancouver, Iginla did the most Canadian thing possible. He set up Sidney Crosby for the golden goal. Anything even come close to that? Uh, I think it's tough. July 1 has been a big day for Iginla, beyond cake and candles. The winger, who has won six times wearing the Maple Leaf sweater, had been a free agent twice. Now, after a cameo with the Kings, Aginla enters the open market again. He hopes to keep playing. Maybe some team will see value in a valiant 625 goal scorer and two-time Olympic gold medalist. Maybe not. But here's hoping for the man who is the living, breathing, and skating embodiment of a country. Now make a wish and blow. <laughs>